So you can see here, if we look at these links, this link doesn't have the protocol prefix either HTTP or HTTPS. This one does, but these ones don't. So what we need to do is we need to make it so that our crawler can handle whether it has HTTPS or HTTP links and be able to prepend them under the start so that we can follow the links afterwards. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to come down here and we need to say if sub str uh, link 07 is equal to http colon forward slash forward slash. This uh, gets the link and it takes the first seven characters. That's what the sub str function does. It starts at the zeroth character and goes to the seventh character. And then what we do is we're just checking is it equal to http colon forward slash forward slash. Then we'll just create the uh, brackets down here. What we actually want to do is we want to say if it is not equal to uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and we want to copy this and then say and it doesn't equal HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and we want to get the first eight characters because there's an extra character because of the S. Then we want to uh, put the and in again and we want to check oops, uh, we want to check if the first character is a left square bracket uh, we want to get the first character. The left square bracket is for links that start with mail2 because you can see up here we're prepending on square brackets around the uh, first and last characters of the link. So what we're doing is we're basically checking is it a HTTP link, is it a HTTPS link and is it a mail link. So what we want to do in here is set if uh, URL, whoops actually sub str URL um, are 0 Eight, to get the first eight characters is equal to https colon forward slash forward slash then we'll just say prepend https else prepend http so what we'll do here is we'll just say uh, link equals uh, https colon forward slash forward slash then the dot operator in php is what's used to prepend or to append things so if i had a string that was said test if i wanted the string to be um this is a test what i could do is just um create a, create uh, two strings and add them together just by adding a dot in between them so we just want to add that onto link and we want to copy this and paste it down here and just change this to HTTP. So let's run that now. So you can see automatically everything is filled in with HTTP or HTTPS depending on what was there before. What we want to do is since best up here in the to crawl list or the to crawl uh, variable starts with HTTP uh, and best space um, uses HTTPS obviously this doesn't work. The reason for that is because if I go to this address you can see it automatically redirected me to HTTPS colon forward slash best space dot co. Uh, so the reason for that is because it, uh, the other way you can do it, you can redirect people. So uh, if I put in the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, the crawler can't get redirected. It's not smart enough for that. So what I do is I put in a HTTPS and I will get the HTTPS version of best space. So now that we're actually able to crawl a website and get the links off of that website, it's time to actually be able to follow those links. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to first create an array to hold all of the pages we've crawled and we're going to call it C and we're going to uh, make it an array. Then to use it in the function we have to make it a global variable so we just, we just use the global keyword and say global C in the function and that will let us use this C variable outside the function. So what I'm going to do is I want to say if a link Oops, actually, I want to say if not an array link C. So, what I'm basically saying is if the link is not in the array, because if in or in the in array will return true if it's found. And what I want is if it's not found. So, I want to say um, if not uh, found, then I'm going to make my if statement true, which will mean that in here is if the if it's not found in here, I just say array. Oops, push. It's a function actually, and I want to provide it with the array name. I want to push to first, and then I want to push in the link. 
So that should push in each link um, into the array. So what I'll do now is I will uh, oops, get rid of the echo links and I'll come down here and I'll just say for each um, C is what I pass in as the array and as the set page. So what I want to do is I want to loop through the array C and assign uh, each link that I find to the variable page. So I just say echo page and I'll put a break tag in so it's easier to read. We should get about the same thing echoed out to us as we do, um, but if I just echo out here, array, then we can see that it is in fact different. You can see it says array. So what we want to do with our for loop is we want to crawl each website or each page. So all we need to do is say get underscore links and we just pass it the variable page. Then down here what we're going to do is we're just going to um, echo, we're going to actually have another for each loop down here which will run after this one and we're just going to uh, echo um, page again. But this time this will echo it from the array like it did before but the array should be bigger now because we're crawling the links as well on each of these individual pages. So if we run this it should take longer to run because it's got way more pages to go through. Instead of just running through uh, this first page here it's got all of these other pages to do as well. So just give it a minute. So you can see here that our um, script finished running. It took a while but it finished running and if we go down here you can see here's all the pages that it's crawled. It's crawled way more pages um, than it did before because it followed the links and it found this page on the home page. Uh, it even found a Cloudflare, a Cloudflare link. It found um, uh, stuff from the uh, customer area, the announcements page, the index page, uh, and all the pages that are already on uh, that are already accessible from the home page. So if I just put in another website, let's try uh, tips.bspace.co. Uh, and I go to it over here. You can see this is what it looks like. This is a new website that we created to help people who use Best Spaces hosting. Uh, it shows tutorials and things and it's updated frequently. We have more tutorials that we haven't actually published yet, but um, we're going to keep it updated um, so that anyone who uses Best Space and even people who don't will be able to benefit from it and it will make hosting a website easier. But um, we're going to put that into the crawler like I just did and we're going to run that. And what we should get is, if we go back here, you'll see, the reason I picked this is because it has a link to Best Space at the bottom here. So what should happen is it should take Best Space's links uh, as well and add them into its um, array. So if we go back here, you can see the first thing it crawls is uh, tips.bspace.co. Then it crawls the same thing again, but it's different because it has a slash. Then it crawls a post, then it crawls another page about admins. Then it gets this link, support at, at bestspace.co. Then it found bestspace.co. And then it went over some other things. It found some images, uh, uh, put in bestspace again without the slash. Uh, ignore this for now, It's the crawler's not the smartest in the world. But as you can see here, what it did was it went down to bestspace and it followed all the links on bestspace's website as well. The reason it didn't go any deeper is because we're only running this for each loop once, but if we wanted to we uh, get it to go deeper, we would have to put this loop somewhere in the get links function or make the link the get links function recursive. So we'll do something like that in the next video, but uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.